Welcome to the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 Lite versus the Redmi Note 9 Pro Speed Test. These phones come with a very competitive hardware and software, but there is a big difference of price. So I would want to see how the Mi Note 10 Lite stacks up against its sister company's phone, which costs considerably less than the Mi Note 10 Lite. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon, and if you like this video at some point, do hit the thumbs up button as well. Here in this comparison, we have the Mi Note 10 Lite powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G 8 nanometer chipset. This phone has a RAM of 6 gigabyte and internal storage of 1 to 8 gigabyte. Redmi Note 9 Pro, on the other hand, is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G, which also happens to be an 8 nanometer chipset. Like the Mi Note 10 Lite, this phone has also got a RAM of 6 gigabyte and in internal storage of 1 to 8 gigabyte. Both phones run on the newest MIUI 11 and are powered by the Android 10. Both phones are using the same settings, same Wi-Fi is connected, and no tweaks were made to any of these. This test has been fast forwarded where needed. Throughout the test, the results will appear on your screen. In this test, I am going to restart the phones first of all to see which one boots up faster. And here we go. All right, it is a Redmi Note 9 Pro. I must say this is a pretty great phone. Checking the fingerprint scanner, optical uh, versus the under display reader, and obviously the side-mounted fingerprint scanner is slightly faster. Face unlock, it looks similar. I think the Mi Note 10 Lite is minutely ahead. Okay, it's time to take a look at the Antutu benchmark scores. Here you can see that the Snapdragon 720G is way ahead of the Snapdragon 730G. I was quite amazed at first and did my research to find that the 720G is actually slightly more powerful than the Snapdragon 730G when it comes to the performance. You can pause or slow down the video here to see the remaining scores of the Antutu benchmark application. Geekbench result is just similar to the Antutu score uh, with the Redmi Note 9 Pro being ahead once again. And lastly is the Andro Bench test. The results are on your screen. The phone consuming a less amount of time has a better performance for this one. Now I'll close all the apps once again and launch the app speed test. starting with the stock apps with the phone app being the first one so sit back relax and watch this test while the results appear on your screen
All right, so out of the 19 applications that we launched, there was a tie for six apps in total. The Mi Note 10 Lite was faster for seven applications, including faster photo editing in the Lightroom app. Redmi Note 9 Pro was faster for six apps, including faster video editing and photo editing in the Snapseed application. All apps are apparently in the RAM of both handsets, so I am going to relaunch some of these applications randomly to see which phones are keeping them there. Okay, the RAM management is exactly the same on both phones. These phones kill majority of the applications to uh, stop the background processes in order to save the battery. Now this is something common among all the Xiaomi and the Redmi phones. And this brings us to the conclusion. I must say that the Redmi Note 9 Pro puts a very tough fight against the Mi Note 10 Lite. Redmi Note 9 Pro actually performed better than the Samsung Galaxy A71 and the A51 against the Mi Note 10 Lite. The benchmark scores of the Redmi Note 9 Pro were definitely better but the Mi Note 10 Lite was one app ahead of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Overall, I would call it a balanced fight. Since both phones offer a similar performance, I would suggest picking up the one with better hardware, build and features offering and that in this case is definitely the Mi Note 10 Lite, of course with its superior price tag. Let me know what do you guys think about this p-test if you like this video. Hit the thumbs up button and if you loved it, please subscribe. With that said, I will sign off and see you all in the next video.